welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol with me, Sloppin Token. Alright, let's go upstairs, check our email, and do some shopping. Check in the clearing house first. And we just need, we, we, it's always nice to have a little extra dossier information on people. So we're going to hand it the one on Madison. Uh, they have the armor we want? I don't think they do. Nah, they don't. That's yeah, alright. We can get it later. Alright, let's check our email real quick. Oh, boo hoo, Starlet. Sorry, you got upset. Oh, Sean Dorsey. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, he he, he wants us to uh, surrender. In an honorable show, of I, 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 he just wants to get us so that he can be all popular and shit. He's the big man on campus back at Alpha Protocol. And some information from me now. We can archive that. That's all right. Okay, so let's go on ahead and get talked in the Madison, I guess. It's the only mission we got right now, so we might as well do it. We got dossier information on Madison. That's the only thing we got for this mission. That's fine. We don't really need the endurance for this mission, though. It's all talking. Those happen a lot, actually, all talking missions. Seristrante. Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Let's discuss what you told me over the phone. I know it sounds crazy. Where to begin? Just start at the beginning. And don't edit yourself, just tell it. I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. Really? So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. Well, I'm a popular guy. Maybe Marburg wanted to meet me. I don't think so. The professor, Jabril Ibarra, who was shot a few days ago, was in the same file, linked to termination contracts. The Ibarra one, however, was canceled for some reason. I think because Marburg arranged it. Uh, yeah. Do you have the contracts? That'd be valuable evidence. Not on me, no. That would have been too much to hope for, I suppose. No worries, we'll figure this out. Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Miss St. James, I shouldn't have accepted your call. It's possible Marburg is watching you, along with other employees. Then what do I do? I believe your boss is involved in illegal weapon trafficking, and I'm concerned with what he intends to do with those weapons, especially after that plane was struck down in the Middle East. What? Oh my god, I, I didn't realize. Miss St. James, you've only been employed by the VCI for a short time, and as Marburg's assistant, that's an important position, especially for a man of his influence. Yes. I was abroad studying art history, but when it comes to paying the bills, I thought I would apply for an administrative assistant position. The language skills helped. VCI does a lot of work with foreign governments. My point is, what you discovered is sensitive information. This could prove dangerous for you. I know. I need those files. Are they in the VCI branch office? I don't know what you're looking for, but the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site, or when he travels. But he's here now, so where would he store the information while in Rome? He has a villa. I've been there several times. If the files exist, I'm guessing they'd be there. Along with Marburg? Yes. Give me the address. Can you get me in? What? Passcodes, details on the security system, anything would be helpful. I can give you the address, but that other information... Trust me, if you can get me into the mansion, I'll get the information, and then your boss goes away for good. Mr. Thornton, Marburg is... I've never seen him angry, but everything about him... He's a dangerous man to cross. I'll protect you. If he gets by me, then no one can protect you. Uh, all right. Mr. Thornton, I trust you. If I can help you, I will. I can get you the address to the villa, and the names of the files you need to search for. Then that's all I need. Come with me. Alright. So 
So now Madison's in our safe house, as you can see down here. Um, so that's basically Madison St. James. A lot of people on the, you know, a lot of fans of the games don't really like her that much. Um, yeah, it's it seems like even Obsidian doesn't like her that much. They seem like it's, a lot of evidence points to the fact that she made it just sort of shoehorned in at the last second. Um, but, um, that's Madison. Not much to say about her. She's kind of, she's a blank slate. That's why I don't really care one way or the other about her. Uh, she does play an important role in the later mission, though. Yeah, that's a nice pistol. We might be getting that. Uh, let's see. A little less recoil control and less ammunition. But then again, we don't really need all that much ammunition. Uh, because that means we can... Yeah, we only use our pistol for chain shot anyway. So it would be kind of pointless to worry about ammunition all that much. Now let's take a look at our stuff, like our armors, to see what we're missing in terms of mods. Okay, we got all our armor mods. Uh, nothing on our assault rifle. We need to do something about that. And let's see, let's take a look at our pistol. Missing a magazine and accessory. Nothing we can't handle with the money we got. So let's take a look. Okay. Increases accuracy. That is something I like. And it's pretty inexpensive, too. So let's get that. And, um. Well, let's see. What kind of clip do we want? I'm thinking that I'm thinking the featherweight would probably be the best one since we don't need that much ammo and it increases stability. I went ahead and bought the rare Reuben. All right, so oversized, lighter. Uh, I'm I am I'm thinking I'm going to go with that featherweight pistol grip or clip, not a grip. It is a clip. That's all we should need for that. Let's take a look at the assault rifles. We don't need a new assault rifle because, as you have seen, we have hardly used it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to just basically take a look for a new sight. Anything would be better than what we got right now since we don't have one. Uh, I'm thinking we're just going to the basic sight, but let's take a look at the other one. That's kind of expensive, so let's go ahead and stick to the basic rifle sights. Well, actually, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Let's do with that. Alright, so... Let's put those on, and then we shall call it a video, I think. Alright, so... Assault Rifle, we had a sight. And for this, we got our new magazine and grip. And we have a new pistol. We should probably just switch that out. The neat thing about switching models is when you do... It will maintain all your stuff, so as I'm about to show you. We'll switch to our Ritter Group and Cutlass. And, yeah, as you can see, it's kept all of our stuff on it. Clearing house. What else do we want? Um, see, is there anything else we need? Oh, yeah, we can sell our old pistol. Uh... That should be it, really. Oh, we should do is some more EMP charges. So let's switch back over to buy, or we'll switch back over to buy. And buy, we'll we'll even it up. Uh, we'll bring it up to five. That should be. You know, it's not even at all. <laughs> five is not an even number. You never guess. I'm a programming student. Math is kind of important there. Anyway, uh, that should be all we need. We don't, need the, ooh, we don't need those phosphorus slugs. Those are not good. Alright, so... Yeah. Next time on Let's Play Alpha Protocol, we go do that stuff.